Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? Today in this video we're going to recap on a video that I already have that I'll be linking up there and linking down below a previous video just in case you guys missed out on that one or if you've seen it and you'd like to remember what it was about or how I did it the first time and that I'm talking about our, our um, paper feathers made from jelly prints the only difference in this video, or a few differences in this video, the steps are almost the same, but I'm actually um, recapping on a simpler way for you guys to do uh, the paper feathers. Remember that there is washi tape paper feathers that have been made by Stacy, Pink Poodle Crafts, and then I went ahead and collaborated with her doing them in paper, and I did them in fabric. We're not going to be doing them in fabric today. We're only going to be doing them in paper but I'll link the video up there or at the end in my iCards and so just in case you want to go do some fabric ones because those are fun also I use ribbon lace paper and ribbon I mean go back you'll have fun you'll be inspired I'm sure of it and so what I have in mind today is to do these the wire with the wire in them within them that will be considered the bone and a simpler way for you guys to do this. So let me move this over. What I have here are some feathers already that I've cut it, cut it, cut, sorry, that are in here. And then I have some that I've already cut into strips so that I can give them form and shape and toss them in there. Once they're tossed in here, I can do whatever. I can either leave them as is, I can add glitter, I can add um, stays on inks, and I can we can add um, stamps over them, we could draw on them, we could do so many things. That's why I suggest you go back into the video that I'll be leaving in the iCard, and you'll see the different ideas. This one is just basically how to get this done even quicker than we did in the other video. So you can use this is here. This here is the um, not jelly prints, but paper paste. And if you'd like to see the paper paste video, all of these videos that are DIY that I show you guys are in a playlist called DIYs. And there's another one called DIY embellishments, DIY home decor. But this one here is in DIY. Okay, so the difference is we're going to be using our paper paste. We did that together. And we're going to use two different sizes. This is the big 12 by 12, I think they're called, the designer papers that I printed over. And then these are your paper from your copy machine that we did paper paste. So they both have paper paste. Just two different sizes. Then we're going to use four wire, 26 gauge. Let me make sure. Yes, 26 gauge florist wire. I found these at the dollar store. These are coated in pink, which I like. Um, some uh, cutting shears, some scissors, our famous, um, what is this, double-sided tape, and then some tacky glue that I've stuck in this bottle. That idea was given to me from Pink Poodle Crafts. So, if you've watched the previous video, you know that on that video what I did is I grabbed the glue and I went everywhere. Like, I totally put glue everywhere and then we laid the wires in and then we folded the paper. But I'm going to give you guys a simpler way. So let's fold our paper. First, choose the side. I'm going to choose the side that I did the print, the paper print paste on. Also I've noticed that prints that I'm not happy with, I actually love them either as ATCs because they're cut smaller, it distributes the pattern so much nicer and into feathers. So here, that, that's the 12 by fold, 12 by 12 paper, I'm going to put that aside and we're going to fold long way down on the copy paper. 
I'm just giving you guys options. And basically this video is just options. I love to share with you guys things that I'm doing, things that I've done that I've made easier. Let's bring back the 12 by 12. Open it up. Okay. Let's get our wire and, and let's uh, measure how long we want the bone. And how many feathers we want to get out and how thick. So keep in mind how thick you're going to want your feathers. And you're going to need enough room. So for instance... I'm going to give myself about a two inch here and about an inch and a half on this side. Or an inch and a half on both sides. Let's, let's go for that. And then I'm going to check the bottom and see how long I want the bottom of the bone to be. And then that same piece. I'm going to make a few. And I'm just going to guesstimate how many I'm going to want. As a matter of fact, I wanted to bring up to you guys that we no longer have our um, go f our fan funding for YouTubers no longer exists. So I'm going to link down below my PayPal if you guys would like to donate a dollar, fifty cents, twenty-five cents, whatever you guys like, and help support my channel. And I'll link down my PayPal down below if you'd like to. Um, help support my channel, bring you guys more content, more ideas, and keep me afloat. And another thing is um, my daughter's been chosen to be the representative to her high school, and we need to fund it. It is, will be about 3095 I started a GoFundMe. I'll link that down below. We need sponsors. Uh, her dad and I cannot afford it. So we need sponsors. We're going to start selling um, brownies. We're going to ask around. And I'd like to ask you guys if you guys can donate whatever you possibly can to my PayPal. It'll go to her, um, her fund so that she can go to Washington because she wants to study for psychology. And she's been one of the only one picked from her school to represent her school. And it's a big opportunity. And it opens her doors to going to college. So anything you guys donate to my channel, I'm going to give it to her so that she can go abroad to Washington so that she can get... Um, information I'm going to college for for becoming a psychologist there we go and we have proof we have receipts we have all of the paperwork if you guys would like to see that I can I can actually send you a picture if you donate or even before donating I can definitely send you guys all the proof that I have okay so I have my double-sided tape right here and then we have our wire I'm gonna Put the wire down. You can see that? Let me get you closer. So remember, the paper's folded. Remember that. We're unfolding it. We're only using half. We'll go through this together. About an inch and a half. It all depends on your liking. And then just push that in like that. Let me bring you guys out a little bit. Grab another piece of your double-sided tape. Figure out where you want to put. And remember, we're going to cut this. Remember, we're going to cut them to look something like that. Figure out where you want to place your wire. And put that down. Yes, we're super excited. She'll be the first um, in our family to go to college. So yes, it's a beautiful opportunity an amazing opportunity. We just need sponsors and anything helps. So figure out where you want it and put your plate tape down. 
It doesn't matter where you place your tape on the wire. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys help me with whatever you possibly can uh, to reach our goal of $3,095. And please share this video with your friends, tweet, Instagram, Tumblr, wherever you possibly can. Also remember I have private classes and I'll link those down below where I give private classes. And I think one is $10 and one is $12, but I'm not positive, but they're not expensive. So once we have those down, and I'll link those videos down below, um, they're about... They're, they're, they're all step-by-step, step and they're very unique classes that I have not shared here on YouTube. Okay, so once that's down, remove your tape. You know, the top part of the double-sided tape. Like that. On all of it. And this is where the Aileen's Tacky Glue comes to play. There we go. And then mm, be generous, not too generous, but be generous and we're, we, what we want is to get it pretty much covered. That way when we cut into our feathers the papers are not coming apart. So that double-sided tape is there to help and guide and to keep down those wires instead of us trying to get that wire to stay down on just wet glue. Also if you guys would like to purchase any of my feathers let me know we'll, and we'll work something out. My tiles, my CD tiles are for sale. Um, these feathers and my boho beads are for sale. Let me know. Now we're gonna, well what you can do here is distribute the glue and if the glue, if it's too tacky for you or if it's too thick, you can add water. And you see my wires are sticking up right now, no big deal. No big deal at all. We're all free playing and just having having fun and sharing ideas here. Alright. So there you go, fold it. You would do the same thing with your copy paper. Try to get it all down and have them, you know, have the papers meet, touch, come in contact with each other. I never want to rush through my videos. I want you guys to see my step-by-step -step every process, even when I mess up. It happens. So, I'm just going to give it a nice um, push to make sure they're contact. And then you see I have scraps from from all the other ones that I cut. That's okay. No big deal. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I want to be like you. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo 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 -boo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that's that, and you would do the same thing for the copy paper. Put your wires, or measure your wires, have them put aside. Same exact thing. Put your double-sided tape, put your glue, smear it out, close it up, and you're good. Now I have some dry and ready for you guys, and this is the 12 by 12. So this is how I like to do it. I like to have them pre-cut, and this is a great way to use up your scraps or ugly design paper that you have, that you have printed on and turned them into beautiful things or beautiful prints, jelly prints, paper paste. It's a nice way to use it up and have um, feathers for when you want to send out happy mail or you're trying to raise money like I am here um, to send out racks, random acts of kindness or to share with your kids or hang around the house or whatever projects, journals, you name it, you can have these there. So you've seen that I cut those. This one's not closed all the way but that's okay. I'm still gonna work with it. If you didn't want to work with it you can just come let me find an, find another one. Like for instance, I'll see. I know that I'm gonna cut this way, so that doesn't bug me. Let's see. Okay. For instance, this one. I kind of feel like I might need that to come into contact. So what I would do is check every single one of my papers and put some glue in there. Boop boop boop. I can't get that song out of my head. If you guess what song that is, put it down below in the comments. And also, if you guys have done these feathers, let me know. Down below. So I would just do that, and because I got glue on this side, I'm not going to let it touch anything. I'm just going to let it chill on this side. So. Well, there went a pretty beat on the floor. I'm going to have to pick that up. Hang on. So from the bottom, you're going to imagine a feather and go up in an oval form like that, okay? And instead of trying to cut over here like that, what I like to do is just flip it over and then cut. Another thing I like to do is flip it downwards like that towards me and find the wire. The wire seems to be right here. Right around there. I'm going to make my tip like that. Okay, and I'm going to need to cut this side too, so I'm going to flip it like that. Do 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 do. Now I'm going to, a little bit, not all the way, make my little curve that I imagine in my mind a feather looks like. And then I'm going to find my scissors. I know where it comes from. Okay, I can't find my scissors, so we're just going to work with these. So, I'm still facing the feather down towards me. Let me move you guys out a little bit. There we go. So here's the bottom of the feather, what I consider the bottom of the feather. And you see this handle is facing my chest. I just go into it. Remember, you can come right back into it again. Now, this is not a permanent. And it messes or fixes. And you see that I'm going to flip it like that and work on this side. That way I can use my right hand that I used to cut. This is a pretty, very pretty print I did here using my paste paper. 
I'm going to flip it again so the bottom of the wire is going to go towards me because I'm sitting down right here. Now I'm going to give it the shape that I imagine I f my feather to be. And if it messes up, that's okay. If I mess up, that's perfectly fine. And I'm going to flip it again. Go into it again. I really need those scissors. Oh, here they are. They're hanging. I like to remove some of the feathers to make it look like there's missing feathers. You turn that paper however you need. Either you need to flip it this way, flip it that way, flip it this way. It's whatever makes sense to you and how the cutting makes sense to you. See, I like to remove some of the feath some of the pieces of feather to make it look more realistic. I also like to cut into some of them and make them even thinner. What's your favorite side? This one here? This one here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doop, doop, doop. Na -na 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 -na. I wanna be like you. Boop, 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 boop. So what I've been doing also, I love this, is on some of these I will round them out. Like that. On some of them, not all of them. I like how some of them are missing. like you. All right, I'm I'm pretty much happy with that. Pretty much. I wanna be like you. All right, I say we're done. I think that's gorgeous. Alrighty, so I'll be linking videos above. Click around. I'll be linking my PayPal. Whatever, whatever um, donations I get will go to my daughter's sponsorship um, to get her to Washington so that she can take some college courses. And if you guys need any information on that, I'll be more than happy to send it to you guys. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for supporting. If you have any questions, any ideas, let me know. As a matter of fact, there is a subscriber that had a great idea. And I'm going to do that video next. So be prepared for another video within the next two to three days. Bye, guys.